What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to make your own lighted knocks. When you get finished, you'll have something that looks like this. Just your regular knock. But when it, the string impacts it, it lights up. Normal pressure from a string turns it on and just with a little pullback you can turn it off. So that's what you'll have when you get done. A few basic things to get started. You'll need a bobber light. You'll need the knock that you want to actually see on the end of your arrow. The light will actually just fit up in there like this. You also need another knock because we're gonna take the back of this knock off and glue it to the back of the battery so that the knot so that this knock impacts the inside of the shaft while this one maneuvers to turn the light on and off um, i just had some spare red knocks normally i would try to match the colors but since this is going to be inside the shaft it's no big deal you also need some super glue you'll need some sandpaper and you'll need something to cut this knot with. I have some old PVC pipe cutters. A box cutter would work fine. I prefer to not risk cutting my finger, so I'm gonna use the PVC pipe cutters. So the first thing we wanna do is remove the back of this knock. And I'm just gonna put a little pressure on it and spin. I want to get it evenly cut all the way around so there's not a, a burr on it. And there it goes. And that's, that's it. We're left with this. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that it'll fit into the shaft. So you take your shaft and you take the piece that you just cut and see if it'll fit in there. And this one has a little burr on it. So it's giving me a little bit of a fit. That's why we got the sandpaper. All right, so this is obviously the side I cut because it would not go in there smoothly. So I'm gonna, I wanna mark this, this one right here. And I can tell there's just a little mark on the back so I don't have to mark it with a Sharpie. I know that's gonna be the bottom it's going to be a, the bottom of it. I'm going to take my sandpaper and I'm going to sand the top so it will be smooth, make a smooth fit down into that arrow because it's going to have to insert down about this far into the shaft. So I'm just going to take the sandpaper. You don't have to do this very hard. I've got, I don't know, this is 100 grit, 100 grit sandpaper. It's not real coarse. Just check, just check to see if it'll go in. See, it goes in fine now. And you want it to be a little tight. You want this part to be tight because whenever you get this inserted, you don't want this to move back and forth when you're pulling your this insert up and down to turn the knock off and on so this needs to be tight and it's perfect right now so all we're going to do is put a little super glue right here on the end of the battery it doesn't take much i'm just going to have a bead around there and i will slowly insert this and twist as it goes on You want to put one small bead right at the bottom to make sure that the bottom is sealed. And then I've just got a paper plate here. And I'll just press it down to get the knot flush with the bottom of the battery. And then to spread that glue out. And then I'll just set that to the side. I want to share something with you about these knots. 
Okay. Everybody, there are several different brands of Knox. These Knox that I'm using for the lighted Knox are NAP. And the reason I'm using them is because the inside diameter is a little bit more than some other Knox and it allows that light to slip up in there right up to the bottom of the knot. If I take these others, and I don't even know what brand these are, just some spares I had, but you can see, that's as far as that battery goes in there. And that light is at the base of where that knot will contact the end of the shaft. So that these would not work. But these are NAP brand, and I and they seem to work just fine. I also like the fact that the part of the inserts into the shaft is a little longer. If you compare it to this knock, you can see that it's probably a, a good eighth of an inch longer, which gives, which just makes it a little more stable in there. It makes it where it won't turn on and off when you don't want it to. So that's something important to know before you before you purchase your your knock. Just just make sure that you that you they'll fit that these batteries will fit. So now what we want to do is take the knock that we're actually going to see on the end of the arrow. Where we'll take a bead of super glue and we're going to put the bead of super glue right around the top of the of the light here. We don't want to get it if I can get it to focus here. We don't want to get the light, the, the glue between the battery and the light because we don't want it to glue together. This light comes out of the battery and it comes on by pressing it in. So if that glues together, you won't have the ability to move that in and out. So what we're going to do is be careful and put a bead of glue right around there. It does not take much. And you'll slide it right in. And you want to leave that to glue, to set, and I'll show you how to insert it into the arrow. All right, well, I've given it time to set. There's the finished product. I've tested it. Works good. So the next step is to insert it into the arrows. And that's what we're about to do now. Before I insert into the arrows, the knock has some small ridges on here. And they're meant to keep the knock snug in the shaft. So, like this one, it's pretty snug. Because the bottom piece of knock that we glued onto the battery is what we're using to hold into the shaft, we want that part to be tight. We do not want this part to be tight. We don't want it to be super loose, but we want it to be where it'll slide in and out of that shaft with not a whole lot of resistance. So, what I'm gonna do just take my sandpaper and lightly sand. You don't have to do this hard. Lightly sand all the way around just to get it to where that thing's smooth in there. Okay, so now, and I'm trying to line this thing up with my fletchings the way I want it. I'm just going to take it and press it down on the table to mash it down in there. All right. Okay, so I've worked with this to get it lined up with my fletching the way I want it to. And you can see it works like a charm. So when you shoot it, it's going to come on and then you just give it a little bit of pressure and pull the knock back just enough till the battery goes off. These knocks are gonna run about $2.50 a piece when you make them yourself like this. 
All right, I've let the sun go down here so we can see these knocks light up when I test them. I'm gonna back out about 20 yards and set this camera up close to the target where you can see the air coming in, see how they work. Thank you. 